Excellencies, the Philippines welcomes the positive strides that parties have made, but also acknowledges the remaining challenges. In the past two decades, the Philippines has made notable progress in implementing the WHO FCTC. We are proud to share that the Philippine Global Adult Tobacco Survey reported a significant decrease in tobacco use from 23.8% in 2015 to 19.5% in 2021. This key achievement is a result of a collective and balanced approach while with whole of society and whole of government efforts in advocating for implementing effective policies and legislative measures. In line with Articles 5.1 and 5.2a of the FCTC, we have strengthened our multi-sectoral national strategy on tobacco regulation, as well as our tobacco regulation coordinating mechanism. In 2022, the Philippines enacted Vaporized Nicotine and Non-Nicotine Products Regulation Act. This landmark legislation establishes a comprehensive and differentiated regulatory framework for the importation, manufacture, sale, packaging, distribution, use and communication of vaporized nicotine and non-nicotine products, along with other novel tobacco products. This is in addition to the various legislative measures we already have in place, such as the Tobacco Regulation Act of 2003, the Graphic Health Warning Law, and the excise tax laws on novel tobacco products. This new safeguards minors by restricting the sale, including online trade, distribution, and marketing of these products and prohibits tobacco product-related activities within 100 meters of schools, playgrounds, and facilities frequented by minors. The Philippines is also pleased to share that funding for essential government services, including the majority of universal health care and COVID-19 recovery initiatives, among others, as well as infrastructure projects, such as farm-to-market roads, schools, hospitals, and rural health facilities are sourced from excise taxes on tobacco and vapor products, which in 2022 amounted to almost 3 billion US dollars. In adherence to FCTC Article 6, since enacting the relevant law in 2012, the Philippines has consistently increased excise tax rates on cigarettes and tobacco products, making cigarettes less affordable and consequently decreasing consumption. In addition, the Philippines is currently in the process of enacting legislation entitled the Anti-Agricultural Economic Sabotage Act that declares smuggling of tobacco as economic sabotage and aims to abate illicit tobacco trade in the Philippines. Excellencies, we emphasize the importance of a tailored multi-sectoral approach to FCTC implementation. Acknowledging Article 1D of FCTC, varying national contexts and priorities, and domestic legislation. The Philippines will continue to engage constructively in dialogue, collaboration, and share its experience with fellow parties of this conference to overcome the various challenges in realizing the aim of the convention as part of our unwavering commitment to the WHO FCTC. On behalf of the Philippine delegation, Maraming salamat po sa inyo lahat. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Philippine.